Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ali and on this channel, I kind of just talk about the shows that I'm watching and I can't talk about it with any of my other friends because they're not watching the show and I don't really have a lot of friends. So I'm wondering if you guys also are thinking the same thing. If you're watching the show, please comment below what you think if we're watching the same show. Okay, so before we go uh, towards the rest of the video, I just want to warn you that there will be spoilers from the show from episodes 1 to 4. Okay, bye. In my last video, I was discussing uh, the Korean reality dating show Love After Divorce. I was discussing the icky characteristics of the male contestants. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing the female contestants. Uh, mostly hyper-focusing on Harim and Sora. But mostly just Harim, to be honest. Um, is Harim acting or portraying or playing the game in a desperate way where she wants male validation or is she being confident and is she, this if is, is she just looking for love on the show firstly with my opinion i don't think if anyone is looking for true love i do not advise you to go on a show if you want to be like social media famous or pop off on Instagram or get your brand to be known, then I think you should go on a reality TV show. <laughs> I truly don't think any of these people are looking for love, but I'm here for the entertainment for sure. So first, Harim, is she acting desperate for these male validation for these men's validation these man's these man them's validation <laughs> okay so is she desperate for their validation or is she acting confident so firstly hmm firstly it seems that she is very interested in dewey tom and ricky so as of right now, I am filming this video having watched episodes 1 through 4. And on episode 1, we see that she's really flirting with Tom at the kitchen. She's like laughing at all his jokes. Oh my gosh, I think we can learn a thing or two from Harim. I mean, she's gorgeous. Drop dead gorgeous. Beautiful, right? Beautiful girl. But it seems that these guys really like it when girls laugh at their jokes. I didn't even think Tom was that funny. But she just kept laughing. I'm like, oh my gosh. Maybe we should try that. Tell me if that works. Because I already have a boyfriend, so I can't... I can't really experiment or anything. But if you keep laughing at a guy's jokes, like, will that make them fall in love with you? I'm not too sure. Anyways, what was I even talking about? Okay, yes, episode one, Harim really likes Tom. And then we see that she starts to be interested in Ricky. And then after, after we see that Ricky is like super socially awkward and she's not having it, she starts being interested in Dewey. And she even tells the other girls in the room when they're all in the room, like eating dinner, having a girl's night, she tells the other girls when they're not even talking about him. Like imagine, you're all the girls are just talking about something else and then you're like, I like Dewey. I like this guy. I think he's really cute. <laughs> like what? So all of a sudden, Harim is saying she likes Dewey and all the other girls are like, okay, I like how the contestants are really respectful I don't know actually it's kind of a it's a game show right it's a dating show but also imagine if a girl was like i like this guy but then oh there goes my air conditioning okay but imagine if um if the girl's like okay i like this guy but what if you also like him okay i think that the other girls didn't even like dewey like none of the girls like dewey okay so then 
they're like, okay, sure, yeah, you should like him. And then Benita tells Dewey that Harim may be interested in him. She hints at it, right? She basically tells him. And now he's interested in Harim too, just because he hears that she likes him. So is Harim... Oh, oh, this is what I want to talk about. Harim started really liking Dewey after they had their one-on-one because he was good at talking to her and she thought that he was really quirky. Like she saw that he was like quirky and dorky, which is exactly what I was telling you guys in my other video, right? I said, oh, if you like dorks or if you like someone who's kind of geeky, it's Dewey. So I guess if you have a type, she didn't even say that was her type though. I think it was because he was giving her attention and they were, she was able to talk to him comfortably that she decided she was going to be interested in him. So we see that she is talking to all these guys, to three of these guys. And then the next day for coffee, she tells, oh, prior to this, she tells Ricky, oh, if it's a one-on-one -on -one date, do you want to go together? And Ricky's like, yeah, uh, I do. Well, actually, he didn't say it that exciting. Actually, he did say it's super exciting. He was like, yeah, like, I would want to go on a date with you, Harim. And she's like, okay, cool. And then the next day, she goes into their room with Dewey and Ricky. And then Dewey asks Harim, oh, do you want to go on a date with me if it's one-on-one? -on -one? Because he thinks that she likes him, right? And then Harim says, Oh, like, we'll see. I'll think about it. And then she, like, leaves to get coffee again. Is Harim seeking male validation from these guys? What do you think? Or is it a power move? Is she confident? Does she know that she is so beautiful, drop-dead gorgeous, and she just knows that she can get all these guys? What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below. And I thought of having this discussion with you guys because one of my friends the only other friend that i have that is watching the show she calls me and she says oh my gosh i can't i can't watch it and i'm thinking why what's wrong and she says i have to keep pausing it i see harim the way that she's flirting with every guy i just can't see it i just it reminds me of my high school self. I'm like, oh my god, that's what you think? I think you need therapy. I think you need to get healed, baby girl. Because when I was watching it, I actually saw her as being confident. Like, I'm on the side where I think she's confident. I didn't actually think she was seeking for male validation. That didn't even come to my mind until my friend had mentioned it. And she says that she just wants all the guys' attention. So what do you guys think? I don't... I think she's confident, and I think she's playing the game. Again, I'm calling it a game show. I know it's a dating show, but it just seems like... I don't think people go on reality TV shows for love. That's just my opinion. So I think she's playing the game, like, well. I think she is there to find someone to have a connection with. And I think she's just going to do what she can to like kind of fish everyone in. And then she gets to choose like, who do I like more? This, 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 or this? What do you guys think? Write it in the comments below. Um, and I guess this is kind of a shorter video. I'll talk about the other girls maybe in another video, but really the only other girl who really caught my attention was Sora. And I just think it's because she is such a, like, I really look up to her just because, like, I also know Harim had a really bad marriage with her ex too. Sora had gone through, um, like, verbal abuse. And then we find out that she is so successful in her career. She worked with Meta. She's worked with Netflix for their marketing. And it just really made me look up to her. And I'm surprised that none of the men thought that it was super impressive. 
I think for me, for me, I think that someone who has worked so hard in their career, I think it's also because maybe it's something that I don't have and they, they're they so successful in it. I just want to be near them and I want to learn. I'm like, oh my gosh, like tell me how you did it. Like, what are you up to now these days? I just want to be like her best friend. And then with guys, why is that? I feel like they're scared of her success. Or I understand Sora comes off as kind of cold. What do you guys think? Is it because she comes off as cold that the guys are not impressed by her? Or are they scared of how successful she is? Because like she said, in the past, her ex didn't like how she was starting to make more money than him. Right? Like she was even more successful than him and he didn't like it. He didn't even like it when she went out. He would hide the keys from her so she wouldn't leave the house. Why are these guys sleeping on Sora? I'm shocked. Also, because of knowing like her career now, I would just be like, wow, she's super impressive. I want to learn more from her. Why do you think that? Why, why don't they like her? I, she's my favorite. She's my favorite. Who's your favorite female contestant? Tell me in the comments. And I know this video was short and sweet, but that's really all I had to get off my chest. <laughs> so I will see you guys in my next video. And press that like button if you agree with anything I said. Smash that like button. That's what everyone says. Smash that like button. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.